China. 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 You take China. 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 I love them. China. 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 I have to have my China. 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 Driftland? Yeah. Driftland? But whether did, they, whether they drifts at Does that mean Phil is going to do a competitive skid? No. Are you going to do a competitive skid? I do. No. Well, competitive remains to be seen. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to a competition event. That's skid. We met all that stuff too. It's been so long, uh, yeah. it? But been, been like years. Are you looking forward to this weekend, Chris? Yeah, man. Eight hours awesome. in the truck with me yeah. and Jay Talking and Ross. Shit, yeah. You, you always entertain us with your worldly wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello, James. All right. I'm good, thank you. You are not coming this weekend. No, I'm not coming. What is your Thanks. noodle of choice for the, for the internet? Uh, this is black garlic, the oh. finest of all the noodles. Highly recommended. Available at all good Amazon websites. Well, something like that. <laughs> mm. Are you going to miss it, John? What? Driftworks? This. I am. I really am, yeah. I have to go to do like a proper job and a proper, proper office and talk about things like payroll and no. planning and yeah. emails and stuff. I'll come up on Fridays or something. Yeah, casual know. Fridays. Yeah, casual fry, casual fry tag. Hey, John. What are you doing? Oh, Richard. Love this it's a cool, it's a cool lineup, isn't it, Richard? What would you choose? That one. Doing a zoom on Craig. Bobby Ware Corolla, using it as using the spoiler as like a leaning post. What is that? It's designed for downforce, so he's flying downward force. Oh, now leaning. It's also designed for leaning. <laughs> You're not a fan? Too loud. Not ideal for maneuvering it around, is it? You got it? No. <laughs> oh look, the door. <sighs> well that makes definitely makes life easier. So what are you doing with the crawler then before um, this round? Just check over really. Um, we've done two lots of testing, which has been good. No well, two rocking days, wasn't it? Two rocking days with touch with no issues. So, um, bolt check really, just... Um, now the question the internet wants to know, out. loud exhaust or quiet exhaust? Oh, pff, I'll give it up on that one. <laughs> that's that, just... That's... Um, old man Morrison's decision. The crowd like loud, but... We'll have to see. It's not, I don't know, I'm not making that one. So, million dollar question. Are you going loud or quiet? Ish. 
I don't know. I think the uh, I think the rules say we have to be quite quiet. So that's what we're going to do, Richard. But, but it sounded incredible at track. <laughs> yeah, but the rules, Rich. The rules, yes, because everybody follows the rules in the BDC. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're just discussing our, um, our little issue with our either incredibly loud car or incredibly quiet car that you can just hear the gearbox with. Yeah. So we're trying to come up with a, a middle ground. So this is our loud pipes. Yeah, and this is our not loud pipes. And this is our idea, but we're trying to work out how to make it all come together, basically. Magic. Yeah, so tomorrow we shall find out. Yeah. Do you enjoy doing this sort of thing? Really? I love it. Have you got the sound on, Mitch? Yes, I <laughs> so I've, co I've come round Dino's Orchard to see how they're getting on, and I'm thoroughly, thoroughly baffled, as there's a lot of new pipe work and a massive back box, and there's a pipe that goes from there round. It's like, what? What is going on? So, Phil had the old back box, which was two big back boxes. Yeah, yeah. Made it really quiet. Are you sure the sound's on, Mitch? Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> and made it really quiet, and him. Basically, because the in induction's changed, there's no induction noise, very little exhaust noise. It's all gearbox, isn't it? Like yeah, gearbox. Whiny. Yeah, so um, we did loud pipes, because Phil wanted that aggressive V8 sound. And the back. problem is he's hit 40 now, got married, and... Um... Yeah, because he's getting old, um, he doesn't want the really loud V8 sound. He wants a really not loud, but loud V8 sound. Yeah. So, exhaust number 12. Wow. Over the course of this car, Craig has built a lot of... Um, a lot of exhaust. Yeah. But the thing is with this, we can put straight pipe, small silencer, or big so, silencer. So, the V-band here and here, and yeah. here. Yeah. Well, that thing is we can put the old dual silencer in here for to make oh, it really splashing. quiet. Okay. We're trying to make all and, the exhaust. And this is actually, we found upstairs, the old R32 exhaust that's like, Years, years old, but thanks still God. sort of works. Mm, yeah. Yes, thanks, Bon. So this is, um, how did you describe it? We got uh, super weak mode. Yeah. That's not the word he less, used. Less, less weak. <laughs> it's not the word he used. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a more politically correct <laughs> word. Oh. into one. My ears are ringing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, holding the camera. Yeah. <laughs> that was one I <laughs> I mean, that's, that's properly into one, but they always yeah. sound the best. That's so. what we always, always knew. Mm. So yeah, we've got, we've, we've lost like the smoke for, uh, pushing out from one side of the car. So everything's coming out of one side now, but um, that sounds completely different. That's 3,000 revs. Yeah. Imagine that at like nine. No, thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> so I think between... I think four exhaust options yeah. is probably a bit excessive. That one actually sounds really nice. Does it? Yeah. Should I put that one on? I haven't heard that one, so if it's that put easy... On, just put it on, on and try it. it. Yeah. It's two minutes. So was it just V-bands everywhere? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Now we've got super extra spaghetti. So basically yeah. we've got two three-inch come from... Yeah, the it's all... Um... And now... <laughs> Oh, is that simple? Pretty That's much. the idea. Just got to go on to the exhaust hanger as well. Are you in? Yep. All on. Because I'm um, so fed up of spending money on exhaust parts, this is all recycled stuff off... Um, this is actually the old R32 um, silencer, when it was really far, far too quiet. Um, we had that and another, another silencer in the system. And oh, so we, we did basically we did loud, loud and quiet in that as well, didn't we? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Except it was um, it was also like one piece because yeah, yeah, Bond made it back in the day. Oh, was that the one that went turbo back that one piece there, that was yeah. like? It's on the floor. Yeah, it was really difficult to do anything on the car because the exhaust had to come off in one piece. And it was about four meters long. <laughs> so this is middle. This is the best. I think yeah. this one, this is the one that I'm going to like. I know I am. I like this one. Because I'm old as well. 
No, I've got very sensitive hearing. I went to far too many drum and bass nights in too my late, youth. Late, Drums and brass. <laughs> You didn't put that special, special grease on, did you? I'm using different nuts with it. <laughs> What's he done? Oh, these are really sensitive to impact guns and um, these impact guns stainless. are on stainless stainless, basically. Yeah, he knows. He knows. It happens all the time. More mu musical cars. Yeah. What we need is a slightly bigger warehouse. What? So I can have an excuse to buy more crap. Well, so we don't have to keep moving everything around. Every I, don't think, I don't think it's that bad, to be fair. <laughs> I think it's okay. You sure? We are storing your car, Paz's car, and Craig's car. Craig's car, and John's car. Oh, yeah, and John's, of course. <laughs> and we have an extra E92 M3, so... Yeah, it's not, um, it's not that bad in real life. <laughs> this isn't real life, what? This isn't real life. Not real life. <laughs> Not real life. Not real life. Crispy. Yeah. Do you, can you tell the difference? Yeah. Can you tell? Yeah. Can you tell the difference? Yeah. Yeah. That's that pretty grumbly to be fair. It's not, it, it's not loud enough, is it? Define loud enough. Ears ringing. When people go, oh, I'm not that again. Yeah. That's whenever loud you enough. Go, whenever you go, when children cry. When you go and watch Drifting <laughs> Day and everyone's car sounds miserable because it's... But the, the issue that we've got at the moment is we go to a Drifting Day and... We're and quiet. And, and we're stuff. quiet and we just blend into obscurity. See, most people don't understand the difference between a loud car and a nice sounding car. Yeah, and if you go to like... Th there's also a Driftworks car, which has got to be the most loudest, oh, yeah. outrageous, it's, it's got to be, standy out. If it doesn't sound good, there's no point. Because if you, it's like sounding... Well, not to mention names, but there are some terrible sounding cars on the BDC grid. In the BDC <laughs> grid. There's no point making a shit sounding car loud. No. It's got to be like a thorn. So it pricks and you can't get rid of it. Like, ah, I remember that forever. Most You're building. Our, a, is that a northern <laughs> thing again? Yeah. We stop being so northern. He is also <laughs> working on Topos Camp, so you cannot have <laughs> any comment on toast. <laughs> I don't. Never yeah. said I liked any car. I just work on <laughs> them because I get paid to. <laughs> most of two JZ no shit. Uh, yeah, like most yeah. of the cars. I, need to work I mean, it's probably a bit out of our viewership, but like most of the cars are like Goodwood and stuff like that. When you hear them, like real proper race cars with like amazing. You know, just like the most extraordinary engines in the world, and they're all like old school pushrod V8s and racing engines and stuff, and they just sound incredible. They're ear splitting loud, but they sound incredible. You say ten thousand pound exhaust. I bet if you were to price up the Corolla exhaust, 
Including including labour, no. which is no, 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 don't quite worry. a bit of money. Pull it this How much do you no, reckon? No, Starkey, in, don't pull it this thread. Is it's it not just, worth it? This is, this is it? A, He's comparing like uh, no, no, I'm, I'm not. Pound I'm not good wood cars. No, I'm not. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm just saying that the Corolla exhaust is expensive if you, if you take into account Craig's labour for making it all. It oh yeah, it's really expensive. It's, it's not. Redone. It's not like you bought yeah, a cheap a cheap one off the shelf. It is all it's Craig's all time. Custom. Yeah. This Maybe. is what version ten. Yeah, uh, potentially well, over the multiple engines. You've done a three yeah. today. Yeah, we've done three today. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right, okay. So yeah, we're fine. at least ten, ten exhausts. But it's important. It's something that I care about. Yeah. And um, I go through stages of believing that people are going to abide by the rules, and then they don't. And so I, I've made my car too quiet, and now I've made it really loud, and now I've made a medium one. So it's not hopefully medium. we've got, well, it's not. We've got. We've everyone. got something for everything. You can everyone stand behind you. that car. As long as Ross remembers to put it in the trailer, so we've got <laughs> yeah. all of the options. So basically, I'm going to swap it to Lard Pops tomorrow and, oh, sorry, fella, I forgot. You could do that and he wouldn't notice. It, it would when we and, get told not to drink. But then, but, then, but then you've left the other one here. This is a uh, Ripworks Volume 3. One of my awesome daily jobs I have to do is repair the shit that everyone else breaks. Are we repairing the trolley? I've got to repair the trolley. Because they've overloaded it. I may have at some point stood on it <laughs> and just gone straight through the middle. Oh, that's my day. It's a plan to get the Corolla loaded up tomorrow, ready yeah. to go. Actually, we can pull the United 2 out now, shall we? No stress. I really like this car. What's your opinion? <laughs> It's very... I mean, I wouldn't do the orange bits myself. What? You wouldn't, you wouldn't paint the inside of your own? Specifically not that. <laughs> and it looks so much better with these wheels on. It used to have orange And highlights. actually, do you know what? This is nearly, this is nearly okay. Because like, all of this is kind of like on brand, I guess, as well. This is cool. I mean, it's a mega, mega, mega car. Have you seen Under the Bonnet yet? And no. Say, oh. how, how does the bonnet go up on this? Ooh, very crazy. The keys. Ooh, what? Titties! <laughs> I've not seen this. Is that final? It's pretty cool. Well, apart, what? apart from the titties. Why would you, yeah. Yeah. Why would you do that? Because someone... The sort of person who paints bits of their car orange, like that bit there. Oh, that's a bit. Yeah, that's the sort of person we're dealing with, is the person who did that. Or, specifically, the person who paid a serious amount of labour time to, to do that. Oh, it's orange everywhere. Yeah, and this. Never. But, oh, bloody hell. Never, 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 never. never. However, it does have 600 million horsepower. still having a supercharged V8 in it. Yeah, but it's got a supercharged V8 in it. That's like the one it should have right now. See, this is where I don't understand. This is this is this is this point I go like that sounds like too much hard work because someone's already made the car that works. But then dickhead and dickhead. No, 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 let's make it much more complicated. And then the end of building something I'm awesome. Not much about that nowadays. You are. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. pretty sure. Even though I've got more people to do that <laughs> dickhead stuff for me, um, yeah, I'm more about like the, I don't know, if, you, if you've got a car like an E92 M3, that is a strong engine. Very strong engine. To take that out and put an LS in, yeah. it has and to be something real special. When he bought it, he didn't realise the power button yeah. like adds another 300 horsepower, yeah. <laughs> so basically turns the supercharger on. I owner didn't, didn't know that. That's quite really? I don't know. Oh, how it's depressed so. must you be? Well, your car's like, oh, it's got 600 horsepower, but it doesn't feel very fast. Well, I don't Beep. know. <laughs> but, like, projects-wise, like, where are we, though? So we got the Hilux. The Hilux, which is nearing completion. Nearing completion. A lot of the fuel stuff turned up today. Rust van. Rust van. Rust. Is that the R? R in this van is rust now. <laughs> not, not the ru uh, rust, rust van. Yeah. Now, what's this called? Rusty. Uh, Megavan. 
Megavan. It's not Megavan. It's not what we'd normally call it, put it that way. Well, no. Old, old Rusty. <laughs> old Rusty. Crap shack. Right, can't rust, swear. Rusty Rust Van. <laughs> yeah. And I'm about to sell the GT3 as well, so... <laughs> you will need a track van. Yeah. <laughs> are you perfect to replace the old NASCAR wheels do fit? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to buy a 964 and wrap it and quad turbo it? Not, to fit some not nice this bits? year, Rich, no. Well, we've only got a few months left. Yeah, but no, I've got too much stuff to finish first. Yeah, you've got to finish stuff. Mm -hmm. I've got like two cars which don't need anything doing and they're still not finished. Mm. That's really what I'm concerned. Looking at a car on the ramp is not a very good thing. No. So what are you going to do is buy another ramp? <laughs> yeah. No, we're going to take stuff off the ramp, fix it. I think it. we're going to need to get like another like, like a few three posters. Four, three, three posters. <laughs> yeah. How about a three, three poster? Posters. Three, two posters. <laughs> so we yeah, can... we just need those to park the stupid cars over. Double up. No, but it would help with parking because you could just park you one the up and down. underground? Theory. <laughs> yeah, I own the... I own the because yeah. like to the centre the of the freehold of the property. To the freehold to the centre of the earth. <laughs> yeah, basically, but it gets thinner and thinner yeah. as it goes down. But you know, it's gonna be a quite a long way before this is a cone. Yeah, so just start digging. Start digging? Load the base with our oats yeah. and then just But seriously, those platforms that go down, that has to be a solution. A very, very expensive yeah. one. <laughs> you know, right. very cheap, how shitty and How much is space. a spade and one of those things? And how long would it take rocks? <laughs> <laughs> Got great lights. <laughs> Great success. It's massive. It's so cool. For people who don't know, this is a a recently imported Texas vehicle from a Oh, from thumbs up trucks. Thumbs up trucks. Thumbs up trucks. That's how you do it. So smooth. Yeah. Does it have the American issue of no steering block? Well, it's got the American issue of gigantic tires fitted. <laughs> We park in this next to the Impala. Got to see. Right. So short the end, the back of the There you go. Yeah, then I thought it was going to be. Looks nice, very smooth. Nice and yeah. Quite, I was expecting air bleeding. No, I mean it sounds like a real. Sounds like what all cars should actually sound like. Perfectly respectful. Pleasant. Okay. We haven't decided for a name for the van yet. No, we need a name. It needs to sound like an 80s Tamiya monster truck yeah, model. Box. The rust box. The, the lunch box. The dirt box. The dirt box. <laughs> yeah. It's a name. What would a rock band have? Like a really crappy rock band that like goes from dive bar to dive bar. Have. And it'd be like the drummer's van. Like Billy Bob. Think of it. I'll think of something. Suggestions in the comments. Suggestions in the comments. Please send a self-addressed envelope. <laughs> I know that was this a is going to be a great vlog episode. <laughs> I'm not editing this one, Alice. It's just super exciting. <laughs> I think this is what we call hashtag chatty. Yeah. <laughs> Chatting works. Isn't this? What, what point does it become a podcast? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What point did people just put it on this for, for background yeah, noise? Look at you, yeah, Stavros. Yeah.